All right, guys, so SDR Gogeta is not the only unit to have just gotten his Extreme Z Awakening. The AGL Kid Buu also has gotten an Extreme Z Awakening. As you guys see here, we already have him up to level 140. We got him up to SA15. The only thing we have to do is just fill in this last node, 100% him, and then we will go ahead and take him uh, into a stage and see how good this AGL Kid Buu can be. Now, unfortunately, uh, I, I do kind of think that this AGL Kipu is probably going to fall in as one of the worst easy A's. Uh, I, I, it's not necessarily that bad on him. Like, he, I think he's still going to be a solid unit. But nuking units in this way, uh, I, I, I just am not really the biggest fan of. Especially when they don't have, like, a baseline attack and defensive buff to work off of, right? So, uh, we got him rainbowed. We have him all the way fully at easy aid. Let's go ahead and hop into a stage now, and I'll kind of talk while we're going through it about why I don't really like this type of unit. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and hop into an event with this team. Uh, now, we're going to run the AGL Kid Buu along with the Tech Buff Buu. This is the unit who I've rainbowed, but I've never done, like, the official video that I like to do on this guy where, you know, I, I, I got the part where I filled in the last node, plus we do a breakdown on him. Uh, but I'm going to use this guy to sort of bring out AGL Kid Buu's full potential because these two share uh, six links. There's only one link they don't share. Uh, and in total, they can get 75% attack uh, just from links. Uh, Kid Buu units and this Buff Buu units can. Now, the Buff Buu will definitely look best next to physical Kid Buu, who just pretty much all around is a better unit than this AGL Kid Buu, uh, but definitely have to use them to sort of show how good uh, this AGL Kibu can be. Now, one reason I don't like AGL Kibu um, is, of course, because he's a nuker, right? He doesn't he doesn't have, like, 50% attack and defense, and then he gets, like, extra from orbs or anything like that. It's his attack and defense rely solely just on orbs. Now, oh, okay, okay. That was incredibly helpful. We just got some key from the board. Obviously, Kibu units and Ultimate Gohan units are the two types of units in the game that get shafted beyond belief with links. Uh, so, like, if we ever get an LR Ultimate Gohan or an LR Kibu, we really need them to be like LR Vegito Blue or LR Trunks and Goten, where they give themselves a massive amount of key in their passive, or else they might not be that good because getting their 18 key super may be incredibly unrealistic. So, keep that in mind, guys. Hopefully, any LR Kibu or Ultimate Gohan will get a tremendous amount of key from their passive. So, this Kibu, right? He gets 14% attack and 7% defense per key sphere obtained. So, it's in our best interest to get as many key spheres as possible. Here, it looks like we're only going to be able to get four key spheres. At the very least, that is going to be a super attack for this Kibu. So, we'll see how much damage he's able to do. Now, one reason I love Texel. Let's see what Kibu can get right here. Okay, he is at a 1 million attack stat. Uh, Metal Cooler did give him a, what, like a 30% attack buff right there. Uh, and that's with four orbs. So, that's not terrible. Especially when we consider, once we give him all those attack links from the tech buff boo. Oh, oh come on. 17 lowered his attack, bro. No. I think that'll only last for two or three turns, though. So, no no worries, no worries. We'll, we'll see the kid boo. Uh, on rotation with Buff Boo, and then presumably, I think, uh, probably best, we'll get the, the Metal Cooler on rotation as well. That'll kind of be like the, the best sort of formation for Boo. Again, if we don't get it in this sort of run right here against 17, I'll just hop back into an event to make sure we get it. Plus, you know, obviously, Kid Buu's attack has been lowered now. But the reason I strongly prefer a unit like Texel to this, and why, even though I don't like nuking units, Texel is a unit I love, is because... He has the crucial factor in that he gives himself key, uh, extra key from Rainbow Orbs, which is really a big deal. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Texel also heals on Super Attack, but AGL Kipu does heal up uh, quite a bit uh, as well. Okay, so this is going to be wonky because, yes, his attack is still lowered. We can get him a bunch of orbs, though, so he will have a good defensive attack uh, or a good uh, attack stat right there. Uh, keep in mind that 17 does have his barrier up, so we're not actually going to be able to hurt him. But uh, we can see how Kibu will hold up uh, under pressure from 17 right here. I don't. Hopefully, 17 doesn't lower his attack again. That would be bad. Uh, how much damage will he take? Oh, under. That's good. That's good. Under 100k 
and he's up to 1.2 million without a support type unit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Kid Buu, <laughs> he can actually hit pretty hard. It, see, here's the thing. He's a unit you're probably not going to want to run on main rotation, right? You're going to want to run him as some sort of floating type unit to where it could be very difficult to get him the amount of orbs he needs. That's why I, I think he would be a lot better if it was like, I don't know, let's say he give himself 10% attack and 5% defense per orb, but then he had like an attack and defensive buff of 50% at the start of turn. I think I probably would like that unit better if he was, you know, sort of done in that manner, right? Um, okay, so this is a rotation we're not going to be able to hurt 17 on. That's okay. Uh, I planned for this because the tech buff Boo, his uh, super attack is physical, so he'll be able to, to, to demolish uh, Android 17. Uh, now, the one good thing I would say, though, about uh, this Kid Boo is that 14% HP is really good. I was hoping it would be more, but that's still a good number. You know, combine that with, like, you know, the Tech Frieza amongst some other units. And very quickly, you know, we have some really good healers we could rock on this team. You know, I could have put uh, Tech Cell onto the team as well, where he heals. So you could build, like, these full healing teams. Uh, I really, really like healing units in Dokkan a lot. So, you know, it is good that we do have that uh, capability. Um, okay, so, see, this is working out pretty damn good here. Uh, we're able to get Kibu a lot of key of key orbs just basically with kp on here so uh, is this attack still lowered it is not okay perfect so here's what kibu will do let's see that's uh six that is six as well that's going to be six as well so it doesn't actually matter which one we select okay so here's kibu with six orbs there's no like support type passive or anything like that active for him right now uh just six orbs and Pretty much all of his links active except for big bad bosses 1.4 i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna take that that's actually not that's not bad that's that's very very solid being able to hit in at that 1.4 million attack range and then this guy gets up to a 1 million attack stat as well uh not quite enough to finish off 17 but that's perfect that's gonna allow us to turn uh where we can have uh cooler on rotation as well I would really like to take a, preferably to take a lot of damage on this turn. Again, we, we got to take a lot of damage. Um, okay, this is actually perfect, though, because we do have two int-type units. Hopefully, 17 will super attack uh, one of the two angel golden freezes. If he does, uh, yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. We actually could uh, have Big Bad Bosses active next turn. And probably still not. He's not going to do enough damage. Yeah, 97k is probably not enough unless he does a lot of damage on these normal attacks right here. Because uh, Kibu will start that next rotation and heal us up. Yeah, still not able to do damage. Okay, so uh, 17, just not a strong enough boss, basically. Uh, and then he just gets destroyed by this Frieza. Yeah, so 17 uh, is cool, but, you know, <laughs> 17, I'd prefer you do more damage, my guy. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, just you know, double digits. Then Kibu will heal us up uh, quite a bit here. Uh, how many orbs will we be able to get here? Uh, they also heal. They have a healing link. Okay, so we'll do this. Hopefully, uh, Tech Buff Boo will get hit. Uh, that's five. That's five. So we're only going to be able to get five orbs right here. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and grab these. Uh, so Kibu has a 30% attack buff passive. If 17 would super uh, tech buff Boo, which he didn't, damn, uh, we would have been able to activate big bad bosses as well. 1.2 million is not bad, and then he's able to get up to 1.5. All right, so with big bad bosses, this man would get really close to a 2 million attack set, actually. I'm kind of, I'm curious enough to see if he can hit it, so I guess I'm going to try and hop back into an event, uh, probably with this exact same rotation right here. Uh, and we'll see if I'm able to get uh, Big Bad Bosses to activate. Uh, I probably can if I fight like Broly. Broly is a relatively tough uh, boss that does a lot of damage, especially in the latter stages of that fight. So we could probably take enough damage to activate Big Bad Bosses. And then see if AGL Kibu can peek his head up over a 2 million attack stat. Uh, I do think he probably could. So, alright. So, uh, Frieza will go ahead and finish this fight off. Uh, still pretty much the only unit that has this super attack animation. Uh, alright, and I'll hop into one more event and let's see what Big Bad Bosses does to Kid Boo.
All right, guys, so here's the rotation that we wanted. We can go ahead and get five orbs. Uh, yeah, five orbs is the amount that we'll be able to get here. Uh, we got Big Bad Bosses active this time. We got Metal Cooler on rotation. Uh, you know, Kid Buu at 100%. So let's see what he's able to do on the revived Warrior team with this setup. Uh, he definitely could get over 2 mil, but it might need more than five orbs for that to be the case. 1.8, so... Maybe if he had, what, eight or nine orbs, I think, uh, he should be able to get over two mil. He's, I I'll say this, HL Kid Buu, he's definitely better. Uh, I, I feel better about him now that I've actually used him uh, on a stage, right? It's just, uh, the one thing about this HL Kid Buu that I'll say is a shame is that the physical Kid Buu really, really feels like a better option almost all the time. At the very least, between... AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you know, if you're not able to get that 18 key, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not as helpful. So the AGL one still has a very, very big presence uh, on several teams. But this Kid Buu, I mean, I, I, pretty much all the time, I'm just going to go with the physical Kid Buu over this guy. Like, you know, maybe if they've made this, uh, th what they should have done, I think, is made this Kid Buu ultra defensive. If they had had him recover 20% HP at the start of turn, and then he had like a 150% defensive buff, or something like absolutely absurd like that, he would have been real interesting for difficult modes. I I, I think that's more of the direction they probably should have gone with. Uh, Alright, so this is Uncontrollable Instinct uh, Kibu. His leader skill, it was HP plus 70%, so very, very old. Uh, and he has now become AGL type P2 and HP attack and defense 70%. So pretty solid leader skill there. His super attack is the Planet Burst, which went from Supreme Damage and lowers defense to now Supreme Damage and greatly lowers defense. So pretty pointless effect. Uh, his passive skill, Skill Copy, he used to recover 12% HP at the start of turn. Now he recovers 14% HP at the start of turn. And then he gets 14% attack and 7% defense per key sphere obtained. So, again, I, I think I would have preferred much more if they just made him a completely uber defensive unit. That, I think, would have been, had a lot more uh, interest from me than just kind of make this sort of uh, okay. Like, he's still better than an average unit, no doubt about that. But, you know, you do still need to set him up a lot with, like, you know, the tech buff boo. Or, you know, on the Enhanced Transformation team, there's a lot more Boo units you can use. But, you know, you take away the buff Boo from him, and he's not going to be hitting, you know, close to a 2 million attack stat. His links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, More Than Meets the Eye, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, Fierce Battle, and The Wall Standing Tall. So, pretty much your typical uh, Kid Boo links there. His 12 key multiplier is 130%, which is awful. That's a big reason why... Uh, you know, he's not able to easily get like up to 2 million attack. Uh, and then he is on three different category teams. Uh, he's on the Revived Warrior team. Uh, he is also over here on the Majin Buar team. And then lastly, he is on the Enhanced Transformation team. Uh, so there, of course, is the AGL Kibu EZA. Uh, probably closer to the, the, you know, the weakest of the EZAs, but he's definitely not as bad as I was thinking upon initially seeing you know, what they gave him uh, with his easy ability. So that will do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.